हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम कांस्टेंट स्पीड एट व्हिच द पायलट कैन ट्रैवल अराउंड द वर्टिकल कर्व हैविंग अ रेडियस ऑफ 800 मीटर्स सो दैट ही एक्सपीरियंस अ मैक्सिमम एक्सेलरेशन द नॉर्मल एक्सेलरेशन इज इक्वल टू 78.5 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर इफ ही हैज अ मास ऑफ 70 kg determine the normal force he exert on the seat of the aeroplane when the plane is traveling at this speed and is at its lowest point so the pilot is sitting in the seat and he is at the lowest point so let's say that this is our free body diagram right so the normal axis will be the direction of the normal axis will be towards the center of the path or the circle and the tangential axis will be tangent to this circle and the binormal axis is acting uh, the direction of the binormal axis is out of the screen so if we consider the uh, the main body so uh, the seat will apply the normal force on his body in the upward direction right so this is that normal force which is required and its weight will be acting uh, vertically downwards that is in the negative n direction so this is his weight and his weight is his mass is 70 kg so his weight will be 70 times 9.81 newtons so first of all we are required to find its constant speed maximum constant speed so we are given a n so we know that a n equals to v square divided by rho and it is given that this an is equal to 78.5 meter per second square so to find that v velocity we need to multiply this on both sides so this is 78.5 into rho and rho is given it is 800 meters so we need to take the square root right so if i take the square root so we will get that maximum velocity constant velocity with which it is moving so this is 78.5 into 800 so this is 250.59 or we can say that it is approximately 251 meter per second so this is that maximum constant velocity with which the aeroplane is moving now uh, we need to find the this normal force so if i apply the equation of motion in the normal direction if we apply the summation of forces along n so this will be equals to m a n so as we can see that this n is acting in the positive normal direction so i will write n minus the weight which is 70 into 9.81 and this will be equal to the mass of the pilot which is 70 and an so an is known which is 78.5 78.5 meter per second square so we need to find n so n will be equal to 70 into 78.5 and this will we we need to bring this to the other side of equation so it will become positive so plus 70 into 9.81 So 70 into 78.5 plus 70 into 9.81. So this is equal to 6181.7. So we can say that it is uh, 6182 newtons, or we can say that it is 6.18 kilo newton. So this is the normal force which is applied. Um, on the pilot by the seat but in the problem state statement it is said that determine the normal force he exert on the seat so the same he will apply the same force 6.18 kN force on the seat as well right so these are the action and reaction forces so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope uh, you people would have understood the solution of this problem kindly subscribe my channel and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problem from Engineering statics and dynamics.